everyone, this is Priyam from Team Miss Malini and today I am so thrilled because I'm hanging out with two incredible women, Gauri Shinde and Alia Bhatt and the only man I have ever loved in my entire, entire life. Shadakhaj. Shadakhaj. Now this is not possible. So we have to wrap this up. Nice job. Anyway, so before we, on the onset, I have to say if I like creepily start whispering I love you shot over like by combust or something, just go with it. Sure. Okay. So, beginning with, so you, again, it's, such great body of work. My mom who was 65. Body. Body. <laughs> I thought it's a body. Also, also a great body. But okay, so my mom 65 years old loves you. Okay, everyone younger, till my age, much younger kids. Why do you think like you are connected to girls across age? And girls because, please, like, you know, because <laughs> I, I, I am, uh, I treat women with dignity. Mm. And I'd like to say this very seriously because young boys should do it. Uh, because not only in our country but everywhere else I think men don't treat women as well as they should treat women with dignity and have a sense of humor they will never take it wrong if you don't do it wrong uh, being creepy being lechy being cheap does not work even one bit including when women don't say anything to you does not mean you got away with it uh, if you're at a party if you're at a social gathering be dignified treat women with immense amount of respect then from three to hundred and three they will love you that's the secret well of said, well said. Absolutely. And this is like mantra of life. Yeah. Okay, so I am also very good acting. You should cast me in your next film because I'm totally okay. pulling this functioning adult thing in front of him right now. <laughs> so was that <laughs> like that for you at all the first day on set? Was it fucking Shah Rukh Khan? Like is it intimidating at all? I just want to say firstly you're adorable. Yeah. Like, you're, you're my new favorite person today. Yeah, genuinely. Yeah. yeah. You're really adorable. Stop <laughs> it. Stop. <laughs> you remind me so much of my best friend. But anyway. Um, was it normal? Or are we also new actors? <laughs> yeah, she, she performed quite well. Yeah. But it was a big gap. Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. But then when did it stop being like... When did it start, start being like chill? Because now you're full like wearing the same clothes over there. <laughs> After BFFs. I think my clothes should be very small. Yeah, I just like. Abhi to dekha nahi. Sell kya? I mean, shirts. Man, kya? I should try on his shirt before. I think he makes you feel comfortable. I think he does the whole easiness vibe thing. So then you get deep. What's it happening? That it just like it flows. Okay, so here's the biggie. The trailers look amazing. All the teasers, the music, like it was possible to love Mr. Vidhi more. Like I don't understand what's up with that man. So <laughs> before this, you know, English English also what a heartwarming film. Do you think? And of course, Shri Devi kicked butt in that one. Alia is going to kick butt in this one. It's going to happen. So do you think as a woman, it's easier for you? It comes more naturally to you to like write from off as a female perspective <laughs> at all. I think so because yeah. I keep getting asked this and I never start off thinking from a woman's point of view or this character is going to be a woman. It could be any yeah. anything and actually Kyra's character in the film is quite uh, gender agnostic. Okay. It could have been easily a young boy <laughs> and it's wonderful. But I think somewhere I just feel more compelled to say it from a girl's point of view or a woman's point of view because I think you just uh, sort of uh, instinctively know those uh, deep uh, thoughts or feelings or you just feel that you can connect you know much easier with that as a also as because girls are better obviously and I've well I didn't want to really put that I said that <laughs> you said that yeah. obviously okay so a lot of this movie you know whatever little we have seen from the teasers it's got to do with a lot of relationships self-discovery friendship all of that so as a 25 year old person dating is hard enough as an inconsequential little person that no one knows how do famous people date do it yeah. Like how do you how do you like how do you go like, on dates? How do you find people today? Cool, yeah. You want to ask you questions? Are you? Let's do. <laughs> yeah, but I'm I, free. <laughs> babe, I also don't go on dates. I've never been on a date in my life. Shut up. I swear, I have never been on a date. Like I've never met somebody at a party or at a gathering or at a bar or a dinner or anywhere, and he's come up to me and like, what's your name? Or you know, how's it going? And do you want to have dinner with me? It's never happened. It's always yeah. been like. That's what a date is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you meet somebody for the first time, stranger. Now, I've been on dates with my like, People already existing you know already. human boyfriend, person, you human. <laughs> it's, it's a good quality to have. <laughs> <laughs> I keep it simple. I think going on the sets, the girls are shooting with me, hmm. that's a date. But so also, you think... found your forever when you were like two years old. Yeah. Like, yeah. you've been with I was, I was born, born with her, yeah. Born with her, yeah. <laughs> no, but no, seriously, like how does how does this work? Like is it and I remember recently in an interview also that you, you said that the only reason young your generation, our generation. You don't talk about your personal life because you know like that's all it becomes about and gets messy and yeah. a lot of times you're just dating, you're not in a relationship. Yeah. So 
How does that work? <laughs> if, I don't know. I, I don't date. I'm not at dating. All. As in, not like I, I don't go on dates and meet people. I don't. You're just with someone and then you stop dating. She gives away all her dates. Clearly, <laughs> <laughs> so busy and all that. You're dating with her. So you know, so hard. You know, start dating soon. I get thrilled about this. You're an evil witch. Explode. No, no, it's okay. She can do what she wants. I've never been someone who's. Uh, I just say it. I was talking about her dad also. Like you said, nobody can date my daughter. They can date her. They can be with her. They can. Uh, I've never thought of my son any differently. Why would I think of my daughter any differently? Of course, you will be possessive about your children. You will hope the best happens for them, and you also would know the reality that perhaps the best doesn't happen all the time to everybody. Things will be up and down, and she'll deal with them. And that's why I've already become a mentor. So when she nice, it was a good preparation. There, I'm telling her and my son too. But you know, whatever you're dating. I used to tell you that you're not confused about it. Dating, relationship, affair, uh, hooking up. There's no meaning. There's a difference. There is. I know. I can't tell. Like, I'll, I'll explain. So dating is like you're you're casually dating. Like you're going on a couple of dates. You're hanging out, out, figuring it out, right? Okay. And you could be um, dating a couple of people also. Like so, okay, I was dating this guy, but oh. it didn't work out. No, it didn't work out. At the dating stage, so, you know, dating. So you can do simultaneously. Simultaneously, Monday. Yeah. You can. It's dating. Yeah. yeah. Okay. See, Monday, it's exclusive. Monday now, if you and I are exclusive, then you can't date anybody else. And that becomes a. Okay. That becomes a relationship, like an early stage okay. relationship. A relationship is when you've been dating since two years, as in you're together since two years, and yeah. everyone knows. And one year, your mother, and all. Yeah, one year also is fine. More than six months. <laughs> I'm in a relationship. Okay, I'm in a committed relationship. I come from that era where you said going around with each other. Yeah. Going around, I don't know. Going around. I know you say going out. I know whatever, but you used to say going around, and around which seems very strange. Or just going around. With but does this happen a lot? Is Alia like schooling like everyone about lingo and what's it and how I to get it? I ask. I ask. Yeah, it's a cool stuff. Also, she creates her own on the spot because she's show older. You millennial. Be you too. You be you too. मैंने I I think कई सुना है But that's okay. Whatever. Yeah. मैंने नहीं सुना है मेरे में है. Yeah. But I I do ask. I have asked so many times. So maybe. But he also I must say knows a lot. Mm. Like he knows what day means. That's cool, dude. Yeah. yeah. But that's only because I Google before I come and show you. आज मैं कौन सा word? आज कौन सा word? Okay, so now you know, like you, everyone's so active. You I don't know if you are like active on social media. Mm. You have to be around your friends because yeah, you have to around. Yeah. 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 I don't. But that. otherwise, you know, like social media is such a huge part of our lives. Phone extension of and your kids are like the social media stars. Oh, you know your kids are fan pages and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but they have not made it, na? Yeah, they have. They have made their own fan page. Oh, well, there's some. Does Amrita also have a fan page? Are you? Of course. He has the biggest one. He has the biggest one. The biggest one. So in all of this, how do you think like promoting films is now such a huge part of filmmaking also that you have to make your film, they have to figure out way to market it. How do you think that's changed? Is it better or worse? Anyone? <laughs> I think it's become more, uh, more active. Uh, I mean, people are trying. I mean, हर हर फिल्म के साथ जैसे ओ इस फिल्म के लिए ये प्रमोशन करेंगे वो प्रमोशन करेंगे. But um, yeah, I I don't know. I don't know how essential it is. I just know that it's it's become a thing now. Like how you market a product, it, even the film is a. Product. But you need to be very true to, to the, the, film. Uh, the film that you're making. Yeah. You know, so if it's a X kind of a film, then you need marketing of a different order. If it's a say this kind of a film, I think you need to go very easy. Easy, yeah. And yeah, of course, you know there are some given classical platforms that you have to participate in. You go to news channels. Uh, there are some programs that you participate in because they're popular on television. Yeah. Uh, but then uh, you need to figure out that is this film really going to work on that pop? Even if the uh, platform is popular, um, there's a lot more that needs to be done, and uh, not need not necessarily everything on different platforms translates into numbers. Okay. And marketing can become a little silly if it's not translated yeah. into a number. Then it's just a waste of time. But how involved are the actors or even the filmmaker in the marketing process of it? Do you guys have meetings to figure that this is what we should do for this film? I think it to each his own. I no, like the basic plan. Yeah, in there's case. a basic. How do we want to promote? And it doesn't mean yeah. that it's only these appearances and interviews. But a basic strategy in place. In this like film, film ke liye kya karenge? And what yeah, from should we not? Should we not? Kya sab dikhega? Uska pehla look kya hoga? Which kind of supposedly translate? And then you come to the fag end. Which yeah. is now, we you just have fun with Priyam. Can we can we get a cut of that? Tio, Roni. Okay, again functioning another functioning another. Okay, so <laughs> in the initial stages of this film, obviously it's not happened now because you know like everything's come together. But initially, initial stages, especially for you, was there ever a concern that if you get a Shahrukh Khan on board with this, it will take away the attention or it will become a little too much about it? 
time I never even thought At like all. that. No, yeah. he was he's just just right for this role. For me, the big thing was that he said yes. Hmm. Yeah. So why did you say yes? Because you can't say no to a body ever. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good one. Um, <laughs> Today I have so many jokes. Just <laughs> 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 where's my shot at? <laughs> Yes, why did you say I met her uh, with Balki once in Pune. Hmm. And I didn't know she's a writer, director. I have not seen, just to let you know, I've not seen either of their films ever. What? In my life, yeah. Uh, I just wanted them to be raw for me. <laughs> I didn't want any previous experience for, from both of them. No preconceived notion. No preconceived notion. I just wanted to feel them real and raw. Right. Uh, but I, I met her once and then I got to know she's participated in a bit of writing of Chini Kam, which also I haven't seen. But I heard it was very well written. No, I, 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 I didn't. You didn't think they were written? Okay, so then, it's completely, so then completely this is misconstrued. <laughs> I, didn't want, I don't know why I would know this from you. Buddy, it's the name! It's the name! You said you liked me. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. sorry. That was the so I, I do film with ladies just because I like them personally. Oh. But great to talk with her. And I, I'm honestly saying, I don't get very many opportunities. Yeah, that's not the reason mm. alone. They're very talented, both of them. And the whole uh, team there was extremely talented. Uh, some of them I'm using in my film now. I've asked them to come and work with me. Uh, Poochie. Yeah, Poochie. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, the girls only, oh, not the guys. Uh, but I, I really enjoy working with girls, to be honest, in the nicest way possible. They're more sensitive, they have a different approach. I don't get those opportunities. Himaji and Farah, uh, and I'm not comparing any of them. They all have different ways of working. But I, I really enjoy working with girls. And I think uh, a filmmaker, see, uh, the ladies I work with, it's wonderful. Uh, as an actor to actor, but I think a writer, director, producer, uh, you know, it, it's more interesting. It, it gives me a different take on things, and uh, and if I have to listen to anyone, I'd rather listen to women uh, than men. So, <laughs> so it's a good, it's a good life. It's a simple thing. Okay, so it seems like such a sweet movie. What do you think has been your biggest learning from your experience on set? <laughs> Somebody will answer this. Go, go, go. <laughs> Stop. Can go alphabetically. I think film, yeah. film wise, <laughs> or hip hop flower. Either way, like your experience shooting this film, making this film. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I can't really point. One big learning. <coughs> You're one big learning. learning. We'll start what? from S. <laughs> okay. Um, I, <laughs> um. Saving the day. <laughs> Yeah, she'll be red. Don't Please, I get paid for this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, um, I, I I don't get a chance, an opportunity to work in films. Uh, we deal with stuff like this. You know, my, uh, I'm, I'm so sorry if I sound wrong or um, self-obsessed, but my stardom does come in the way of being able to participate in storytelling, which I always wanted to. And it's it's a good that it, it's good that it comes in the way sometimes. It's all right. I'm not complaining. I'm not ungrateful about this. Um, so when you get an opportunity like this to work with talent, and uh, it's like I said, it's a different take. So my biggest takeaway from here is that I should only, uh, or at least once in a year or two, or whenever I get the opportunity like this, uh, genuinely work with people who have the sensitivity, uh, the gentleness, the softness, the kindness. I like that. Yeah. I'm a very spoiled actor. I remember Mr. Ghai saying this. I'm a very spoiled boy or man. I, I, I need to be pampered. I need to be loved. I cannot be ordered around. I'm extremely arrogant and spoiled. And with reason, of course, <laughs> I should be. But I really, really like to be loved on the set. I don't need anything else. So my biggest takeaway is that I got an amazing amount of love from Gauri and Alia and everyone else on the set. So it's, it's, I never expected that. Uh, but uh, it's a lot of, it's overwhelming the love I got on the set. Genuinely, I'm saying. I, I was really and as you're going to get for the film, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Can you have any takeaways on the film? Yeah, I thought of it. <laughs> see, 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 see. No, go on. Yeah, so, um, <clears throat> no, I've always want, I mean, thought, and this actually happened in this film, was to work with people you also like, apart from them being really talented yeah. and you respect them for their work, and then both of them, I mean, I, I mean, that is like a given. You hit jackpot. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but to really like them while working, because it, there can be days and then moments and you get irritated and you don't like a habit or you don't like something you're doing, no matter what it is, and because you're working so closely. But that's what I learned that no, it's possible and it can it can really happen that you can actually love uh, the people you're working with and they are great also. So it's like fabulous. I haven't felt a moment of um, dislike towards either of them. 
mean, they can be like whatever you have to do, the hell yeah, that kind of a thing, but to love. I think I I I'll just sum this whole thing up with one word that is gratitude. Something smart you say. No, I have to talk. I have gratitude, gratitude to be working with him, gratitude to be uh, working with Gauri, gratitude to play this part, to be a part part of this journey, to cycle in the middle of Goa amongst palm trees and have a conversation. You only do this in movies. And to make the best joke. Rajiv basically dear Zindagi yours gratefully. Yes, yours gratefully. Which is nice. It's a nice ending for a sequel. No. इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो देन प्लीज Obviously like it and then subscribe to it please